Hello everyone, this is Peak Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another edition of the ever going unrated, underappreciated movie review series and this edition we will focus on the powerful action drama Tears of the Sun. Released on the 7th of March 2003, it stars Bruce Willis, Monica Bellucci and Tom Skerritt and was directed by Antoine Fuqua. Now the setup of Tears of the Sun is that we have a story based in Nigeria where there is massive turmoil and unrest following the assassination of the West African president and his family. Essentially this has kickstarted and been the catalyst to a massive civil war backdrop and we have rebel forces travelling throughout the land, taking up forces and causing extreme amounts of violence and murder. We later on discover a group of US soldiers led by Bruce Willis are given the mission to enter the hostile environment of Nigeria and rescue an American doctor Nina Kendricks played by Monica Bellucci and her medical staff who are based in the missionary and there's an urgent need to take them away from the country before the rebel soldiers infiltrate their missionary base and take them out. The soldiers are initially ordered only to rescue the American staff but Dr Kendricks is very determined that all of her patients are rescued as well. Going ahead with the story, the soldiers really ask questions about what is the right and wrong thing to do and after a short while they go against orders and the leader agrees to take all of the patients along for the rescue operation. What ensures is a terrifying and unrelenting race for survival as the US troops and medical staff find themselves constantly under pursuit from the rebel forces. Travelling on foot, they have to hike for miles on end to get to the safety zone of Cameroon. They find themselves under fire and the ordeal is made even worse when there are certain individuals who are perhaps against the US forces and look to betray the group and give up their location. Now for me, Tears of the Sun is one of those movies that will always get my vote and approval. It's a very vivid and powerful and compelling story, constantly full of suspense and tension and is truly gripping to watch. Now many may view it as an action film and I can understand why but there are many scenes of explosive action and shootouts and gritty and quite gruesome violence and intense scenes as we see the ramifications and the brutalities of war, it really is unflinching at times and doesn't shy away from the harsh truths and what really went on and it's even more shocking seeing the events that the, the film depicts on screen as we all know these events were actually happened in real life and the film doesn't sugarcoat, it doesn't look to be overly sentimental, it doesn't shy away from really showing what these people went through and the brutalities they were under and I think Antoine Farquhar does a very good job in not sensationalizing things, not hyperboling things or trying to make out who's the good or bad guy, he just shows it in a very stark nature on how things truly happened and that's what makes Tears of the Sun for me such a powerful film for all of the action there is a serious subject matter, there's a point and a purpose behind this movie and that always makes the best movie a film that has multiple layers within the genre that it presents itself in and Tears of the Sun is a fantastic example of this. It's very much in the same vein as other compelling dramas that I really think are impressive movies so if we look in particular as Black Hawk Down directed by Ridley Scott we have the amazing Hotel Rwanda starring Don Cheadle and Nick Nolte. We have Blood Diamond that I've referred to previously directed by Edward Swick starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Demian Honsal. And there are also echoes of another amazing film, The Thin Red Line, which has a massive ensemble cast with the likes of Nick Nolte, Jim Cavazial and John Travolta and Sean Penn as well. So Tears of the Sun is really on the same trajectory and form of those films which are all terrific and amazing movies and the same tone and direction and seriousness that Tears of the Sun treats its story is I think a very admirable trait and I think deserves a lot of merit. It's directed in a typical verve and fever and style from director Antoine Fuqua. If you're a massive movie fan you know he's directed obviously such movies as the iconic cop thriller Training Day. He's also directed 
Brooklyn's Finest, which I think is a very underrated movie starring Richard Gere, Wesley Snipes, and that will be another entry within my underappreciated series. That's a very good movie, Brooklyn's Finest as well. So he's got this very gritty and very vivid style about him, Anthony Furquan. He doesn't shy away from things and I think he likes to put it on screen and he's very adept and very skilled at showing action in the right way. He avoids the very typical tropes of the shaky cam and the close-up shots which is so prevalent in many movies that we see currently. The film looks great visually and was actually armed with a hefty budget of $100 million and that's great to see you can clearly see that on the screen here where we see the certain locations there are great sequences as i mentioned with the action with the shootouts and where we see the helicopters as well it all looks great visually particularly if you watch the blu-ray of the movie which i would highly recommend both lead actors bruce willis and monica bellucci perform very well in their roles bruce willis adds very much much more of his minimal and subtle style of acting not showing too much emotions in to begin with i think there's one scene where he kind of shows a much more of a remorseful and emotional side with monica bellucci but the character that he plays here is very much a man who is conflicted on the one hand he wants to complete his mission and set out the job that he's meant to do but as he delves deeper and he sees the survivors he sees the ordeal and the brutalities that goes on he really gains much more of a conscious and goes against his directive orders but you're completely with him because you completely understand why he makes the difficult choices that he wants to and Bruce Willis does this very well he's very tough and he doesn't mess around he won't take any ill discipline or insubordination but he's still a very heroic personality and I think Tears and Sun shows what a competent actor Bruce Willis is yes we associate him of course with the iconic Die Hard franchises and other action movies but when you take that aside if you look at the likes of Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, Hearts War you know he is a very considerable actor and he has a very style where as I mentioned it's very minimalist and it's very understated and I think that works very well for the role that he plays on this. Monica Bellucci is very good in this movie as the doctor she's always willing to save her people she never wants to leave anybody behind she's very compassionate has a tough resolve and I think that makes you endeared to the character this isn't a character that is a typical female stereotype in my opinion she's not argumentative just for the sake of it she generally cares about these people and you really feel that on the screen and i think monica bellucci does a wonderful job she is stunningly beautiful and if you look at the compassion that she shows on here i always think back to this film and if you look at her in matrix reloaded and i think she would have made an incredible wonder woman for all the good job that gal Gadot has done when i look at monica bellucci in this form in this phase of her career i just think she would have been an incredible wonder woman and it was a missed opportunity i think at the time the other special element within this film without question is the amazing musical score by hans zimmer and for me hans zimmer is one of those all-time greats and really the go-to guy for modern day composing of movies we really could spend a whole video on the amazing movies that he's provided incredible scores for over the years but if we keep it to tears of the sun the music adds such a gravitas and sincerity and beauty and you can really hear that and it's always great when you've got a a musical score that really complements the quality of the storytelling and the characterization it just gives the film more weight it really heightens those emotional moments those intense scenes particularly where we get a sequence i think it's halfway through the movie where the forces come across a hostage camp and they really see the victims and the amount of people that have suffered and the intense injuries that we see and Hans Zimmer's score just really adds such a credibility and really a sadness and a pathos to the developments that we've seen on screen it really is a magnificent score and once again confirms why he is one of really the top echelon and elite in terms of movie composers so if I had to give a score for Tears of the Sun I would give it a 9.2 out of 10 definitely the movie that deserves more praise and recognition fantastic action fantastic suspense and tension 
but also with a strong underlying core and message and strong emotional and intense scenes that again really compels you to watch the movie at times it's hard to watch especially when you know that this is depicting real life events but it's always great to have a movie that really has a strong purpose and a strong subject matter beneath it and this is bolstered again by two terrific performances by both Willis and Monica Bellucci in the main lead. Now when we look at the release of Tears of the Sun as I mentioned before it had a hundred million budget but sadly only managed to gross 86.5 million at the box office meaning it made a loss when it was released. Now I think this is partly because when you have a movie like Tears of the Sun that tends to show how things really work so it's always going to come across as very bleak and very unsympathetic there's no sugar coating or sentimentality as i mentioned before it's not a typical fist pumping cheerleading war movies where there are clearly the good guys and clad guys yes you have the rebel forces but when you take into account why the rebel forces are fighting what for what they are and we get further developments on throughout the story as it plays out it's it doesn't make a cartoonish or overly villainous portrayal of these characters so that's i think a lot tougher for audiences to kind of relate to and translate to when you've got a movie that shows things in a brutal and stark fashion when we look at previously the likes of black hawk down it was clearly the americans that were the good guys and it was all about the heavy intense combat fire that they found themselves in well tears of the sun isn't quite like that there's much more depth i think to tears of the sun and maybe that wasn't something that audiences found appealing in the long run maybe it would have benefited from being released in oscar seasons as films i think when you release them in the oscar season i think us audiences are maybe willing to give them a second and a third look this was released in march so shortly would have been after the oscars were released and you're slowly coming out of that season and making headway into the the april may season so maybe i think it wasn't the best time to release a drama that so much has an intense story and subject matter to release we also look at Bruce Willis and we look at the fact that his star power had kind of waned in the last couple of years when we're going into 2003. In the 90s he was without that one of the biggest box office movie stars but he had some flops coming out of that decade and coming into this new decade that we were in now so his because of his star power had decreased maybe then that's why it is in the sun didn't attract as many viewers maybe had this been into the mid late 90s when he really had a huge resurgence in his career following the likes of pop fiction and then die hard of a vengeance as well we had the likes of sixth sense and unbreakable and fifth element and armageddon so if tears of the sun had come around that period then maybe it might have been more successful at the box office as well so i think that was another reason why tears of the sun didn't really hit as big at the box office at what it should have done but overall i still think it's a magnificent movie very powerful very compelling strong performances and explosive action and it's definitely a movie that you should check out and it's definitely a movie that was unrated and underappreciated and deserves more praise on and post its release so those are my thoughts and review on tears of the sun let me know what you think in the comments below if you've seen the movie tell me what you think what were the best elements of the movie do you think there were any areas that it could have improved on do you think it could have delved a bit more into the subject matter do you think there was perhaps too much action particularly in the climatic last 10 to 15 minutes and did you think that underscored the serious nature within the first two thirds of the movie so let me know what you think in the comments below please also hit those like and subscribe buttons to help me provide you with more high quality content in the future and continuing with these movie reviews in the long run but that's it for now take care of yourselves on a very powerful and compelling drama in tears of the sun stay at safe distances and i will see you very very soon